the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, peace be upon the messengers and praise be to God, Lord of the worlds. O Imran, we have previously explained in detail from the Quran the deception of the Antichrist, or did you not fully understand our statement? And we also explained the garden of hallow earth in detail, which is in the land of the two sunrises. Its palaces are made of silver and the gates are made of gold. The Antichrist want to give people these palaces in the garden of temptation. In return, he wants them to disbelieve in God. If it were not for the God's mercy in sending the Imam Mahdi, all people would be deceived by this garden and the world would become one nation of disbelievers. And Allah the Exalted said, And if we're not that the people would become one nation of disbelievers, we would have made for those who disbelieve in our Rahman the most gracious, for their ceiling of silver and elevators upon which they ascend, and for their houses, doors and couches on which they would recline. And this kingdom is in the land of the two sunrises, and in it are the Jews of Gug and Magug, meaning they are their descendants, as we have told you before about how the jinn have reproduced from the mankind while they are in that land, and no one has set a foot there for the nations of Muhammad. May God's blessings and peace be upon him and his family. Even until this hour, Allah has promised this land to be the nation of Muhammad. But that will be in the era of the awaited Mahdi. And in it, there are possessions and palaces. And God will cause us to inherit their land and their palaces, fulfilling his true promise in their world of Allah the exalted and he caused you to inherit their land and their homes and their riches and a land on which you have never set a foot before and ever is Allah over everything competent as for the word of God the exalted and he caused you to inherit their land and their homes and their riches. This is a promise that has already passed. It passed during the era of the Prophet. May God's blessing and peace be upon him and his family. Allah caused him and his companions to inherit the land of the Jews and their wealth in Khaybar, the Battle of Khaybar. As for the land of the two sunrises, no Muslim has set foot on it yet from the nation of Muhammad. Peace and blessing be upon him, and Allah will cause the awaited Mahdi and his allies for among the nations of Muhammad and from among all of mankind to inherit it in line with the verse, and a land on which you have never set foot before, and ever is Allah over everything competent. And it, the land, is great temptation, yet it is only a materialistic trial and not a divine miracle, supporting the Antichrist for you to believe in him. And as many Muslims believe that the Antichrist comes with miracles, how could your minds believe this? Do you think it makes sense or is it logical that God would support with his miracles both the call of the truth and the call of the falsehood? Do not you reason? Yet known remembers, but those of understanding minds. Peace be upon all messengers and praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds, your brother, Imam Nasser Muhammad al-Yamani.